Hello everyone, Farah Hanoon here and I'm joined by Mean Hakim Daudu who takes on Kyle Bachniak this Saturday at UC 231 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Hakim, how are you? I'm good. I just uh, sit at the hotel here uh, just to get some lunch and then, you know, I'm going to do some shopping and then uh, have a light sweat later tonight. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time so close to your fight. I really appreciate it. You got to Toronto yesterday, correct? Yes, I did. We arrived yesterday around, uh, I think it was 4 o'clock, 4 p.m., so yeah. Nice, and I saw that you got stuck in an elevator. What happened there? Um, you know, I, my uh, nutritionist that I met, she's like, hey, you need to go back to your room and uh, eat, eat this meal. So I run over to the elevator. I get in the elevator. We maybe go up couple of floors and all of a sudden we just heard a big bang and then we dropped about three feet and then it stopped and it scared the crap out of me and we were, we were stuck in there for about uh what was it 10 20 minutes oh wow 10, 20 minutes just, yeah and then uh, you know, we got out but it was uh it definitely shook me up a, a little bit for sure yeah, I mean, like I could only imagine what's going through your mind. You're like, oh god, no, please not on fight week. Like so close to the fight. Yeah, I was just, I was just thinking, like, I just hope this thing doesn't drop. You know what I mean? Or like, or like, I have to be stuck in here for like, because at first they're saying I was gonna be stuck there for like an hour or two. I'm like, oh my god, like really? Like this is. I was just like, this is really happening right now. Like this usually only happens in like movies and stuff like that. Like I could not believe. I'm getting it stuck in hell. Luckily, I was only stuck in hell for not too long, so well, it worked out. Well, that's great, because we did see, like, a couple of years ago, what happened with C.B. Dalloway, and he had to be pulled out of the fight. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah, luckily, you know, fight's still a go, you know. We're going to hook it up. So, uh, you know, and, and I guess it was for the best. Definitely, absolutely. All right, let's talk about your fight. You're taking on Kyle Bachniak. Your fight was recently moved up to the pay-per-view portion of the card, so how excited were you when you heard the news? Um, I was excited. I was kind of confused at first because like, I, was, I was just having dinner and my phone kept blowing up and blowing up and blowing up and I was like, what's going on? I got a couple of messages from fans and they're like, oh, see, you're on the main card. And I, I messaged them. I'm like, oh, sorry, guys, I'm not on the main card yet. <laughs> Um, you know, hopefully the next couple months we'll get on the main card. And then my buddy showed me, he's like, Duffy, you won't run the main card. And then uh, I messaged my coach, and uh, I, I went to go make a post on uh, Instagram that I'm on the main card. He's like, uh, I don't think you're on the main card. Uh, maybe, maybe ask uh, your manager. And then my manager didn't even think I was on the main card. And then we looked at the UFC. I, and yeah, I, they bumped me up on the second fight in on the main card. So I was super excited, you know what I mean? I still am super excited. I'm going to make the most of the opportunity. I'm going to have a lot of eyes on me and get my name out there, you know, get some uh, international recognition. But at the same time, I don't want it to affect the original game plan and, uh, you know, get me jealous and, uh, you know, just uh, make me do something stupid and overreach. reach. Definitely. And while there are perks of it being on free TV so everybody can watch, there's a tactical approach when the UFC picks your fight to bump up. So this is kind of a this is kind of a hometown or a home country fight, and they could tell that this matchup on paper is probably one of the more anticipated ones of the night. Yeah, definitely. I think this fight has a uh, fight of the night written all over it. Uh, people know I'm a technical, powerful striker. Um, Kyle Bosniak, he's obviously known for being the only game. And, uh, you know, I'm an exciting fight. Yeah, the people are just excited for this one. Yeah, and talk to me about the matchup. I mean, Kyle's had mixed results in the octagon, but he's been highly praised for his toughness, especially in his last fight against Zabit. What do you make of him as an opponent? Uh, you know, I definitely think he's game. I definitely think he's tough. But, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's not enough. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I think he's just the perfect type of uh, opponent for me. And, uh, and I think I'm just going to pick him apart, and he's going to be there for me, and I'm not going to him down but uh i think the end result of this be chopping wood and when he's ready to timber he's going to timber and he showed that he's game to brawl you're a very technical striker like you said and you're a guy that puts things together very well is the game plan to kind of avoid getting lured into that kind of fight that he may try to kind of suck you into um to be all honest with you um i'm prepared to take the fight wherever it needs to go you know uh, i don't think he's felt my power before so if he uh, if he decides to try and stand up with me, 
he's going to get pulled away quickly once he feels my power. So um, I think I'm just going to I'm going to keep it very tight. But if he wants to, you know, drop his hands and act all crazy and give me an opening, that's that's his fault. I mean, I'm going to get the big show and a big finish. So um, I think once he feels me, he's going to work my power and he's going to have to probably change his game plan. And he said something in a recent interview he did where he be- where he believes that you're not battle tested. You did go through a three round decision win in your last one, which I know you're a guy that likes to finish, but that must have been a valuable experience, right? And what do you make of him saying that you're not battle tested like he is? Um, no, uh, to say that I'm not battle tested that is crazy. You know what I mean? I, you know, I've, I, I've had two fights with uh, Murat Megamedov twice. Yeah. You know, uh, the beat younger cousin. Um, I was a uh, 9 0 as a professional anti fighter, internationally ties. I was 42 and 5 as an amateur. I am very bad on test. That is like the worst statement you could, you could say. He obviously hasn't done too much history on me. I have uh, almost quadrupled the amount of fights this kid has. I see, of course. And, and tell me a little bit about this training camp. You've traveled around in the past to get some work in other gyms, but did you primarily do your whole training camp back home? All right, Hakeem, a couple more questions before I let you go. You've been working with George Lockhart for this camp. Uh, how has your weight cut been going, and is this the first time you work with George? Oh, no, this is my, yeah, uh, my third time working with him. Oh, okay. Uh, the first two times, he only, my, he only did my hydration. This is my first time where I'm actually eating the meals, and he's, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's whatever whatever's getting into my body, he's running that. So this is the first time doing a whole and why did you suddenly make the decision to do kind of the full weight cut is it an experience you had before or is it just because you liked working with him in the past I really liked the hydration uh, the first time I, uh, I was uh, SPG gym and it was a lot of the fighters were um, you know were using him and as well you know you get a little bit heavier and you know weight cuts get a tad bit harder to lot. Uh, you know, instead of just doing it the old school, I was basically just doing it on my own. And be uh, now that I'm in the UFC and I'm into the next step, I got to be really professional how my weight cut is going and how I'm re- in my body. So I just think it's 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 a move for me. For sure. And uh, main event: Brian Ortega, Max Holloway. Uh, obviously, a fight that everybody's looking at, and of course, the featherweight division. What are your thoughts, and who do you think takes it? I see. And last thing for me, how do you envision this fight with Kyle Bachnia going? How do you get the job done? I just, you know, like I said, I just picture me chop wood. I'm just going to keep him apart, pick him apart. And when he's ready to timber, I'm going to go in for the finish. Awesome. All right, guys, you can catch Hakeem Daudu this Saturday at UC 231 when he takes on Kyle Bachniak in the pay-per-view main card. You don't want to miss this one. Hakeem, thank you so much for your time and best of luck this Saturday. Thank you.